Hey everyone, Caroline Roberts here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about 10 ways to respect your husband. Yes, even if you're not married and you got a man, you're in a relationship, you're a boyfriend, I think you'll find a lot of these tips helpful. Today we're getting real, we're having fun, um, but a lot of these tips may be convicting and I'm just saying that because... I'm preaching to myself too, um, but I believe that they'll help you in your marriage, in your relationship with your godly man. So if you're interested in watching more, then definitely stay tuned. All right, y'all, now let's hop into this video. I'm excited about today's video. I think you guys can tell. I'm super excited because this video is inspired by my new book and my upcoming challenge, 100 Ways to Love and Respect Your Husband, y'all. Check it out. Um, my book is officially launching on December 22nd, but it is available for pre-order. You can click the link in my description box, amazon.com, kinzo, barnesandnoble.com, wherever books are sold, sis. You want to put your hands on this, 100 ways to love and respect your husband. I am so excited about this. I'm so excited about the challenge, the 100 day challenge for wives starting on January 1st. You want to be a part of it. You don't want to miss it. I am going to be literally going through this challenge with you all and walking through this step by step. And every day there's going to be a new devotional, a new challenge, and an action you can take towards, you know, respecting your husband, towards loving your husband. And I believe that from this challenge, marriages are going to be restored. I believe that from this challenge, wives and husbands are going to draw closer together in unity. I'm so excited about what God is going to do through this challenge. But before we hop into this video, I want to kind of give you guys a layout of how I'm going to be sharing the 10 tips. So in my book, there are 10 different chapters. So I'm going to share with you guys one tip from each chapter. Every chapter of my book has 10 tips. So 10 chapters times 10 tips. That's how I come up with the 100 ways to love and respect your husband. So this video is kind of going to give you a preview of the good nuggets that you're going to be able to get out of this book and also going to give you a preview of the chapters that we have and the topics that are included in the book. So I'm excited to get started. Without further ado, let's hop in with point number one. Okay, so the first point is to communicate, right? By saying please instead of barking orders at your husband, right? So um, one of the chapters I talk about in this book is communication. And it's just important, like normal manners. It doesn't, you don't even have to be married, honestly, for this tip. Just learn how to say please, learn how to say thank you, like don't be rude. And um, I don't know what it is, but sometimes, you know, when we get into marriage as women, we get so comfortable and we don't have that same reverence for our spouse as we had before we got married. And we start getting naggy and just barking orders like, can you take out the trash? do this please you forgot to do that um and we're like nagging and we're barking orders and we're not really speaking gracefully and we're being rude and we're not saying things like please and thank you the way that you convey a message in communication is so important communication is not just about what you're saying but it's also about how you're saying it all right so let's move on to number two number two is consideration. So we have a chapter about how you can just be more considerate towards your husband. One of the things that you can do is let him open his own mail. Y'all, I'm guilty of this. I'm someone who I love mail. Mail to me is like receiving gifts. Let me know in the comment section if you think mail is like receiving gifts. <laughs> but let your husband open his own mail. I know you're excited. I know you want to see what's going on or whatever it is, but just let him open his own mail. Let him be excited about it too. Let him let him feel like, you know, mail is a gift and he gets to see what's inside. So just allow him something as simple as when you get the mail, 
let him get to it first or when you get a package like Amazon if he gets a package from Amazon rather than being like let me see what he ordered and opening it up let him open his own mail and his own package first so that's my second tip on the chapter of consideration now let's move on to point number three point number three comes from my chapter about romance and point number three is to ask him about his likes and dislikes during sex um and a lot of women are pretty good at this but everyone is different every marriage is different so i wanted to throw this tip in here because there may be some women out there where when you think of sex maybe you think it's all about you and it's all about how your husband you know needs to please you but also ask him because marriage is a two-way street so this is also part of communication ask him honey what do you like um one example that comes to mind babe do you like it when i shave or do you like it full wilderness down there right kind of tmi but ask your husband what he likes and kind of consider what he likes and what his preference is rather than saying no i like to keep it like this because this is how i'm most comfortable or you know i like being hairy because it makes me warm okay what about what he likes what about what he dislikes it's important for you guys to communicate those things in sex okay and it's a big part of respect and showing your husband that you love him and you care about what he cares about as well now let's move on to point number four point number four comes from our chapter about service so in this chapter i just talk about ways that you can just practically serve your husband and point number four is to iron his shirts fold his socks and do the laundry it could be frustrating if your husband is looking for some clean socks some clean clothes and you know we are to help our husbands present themselves to the world so if your husband is going into the world with wrinkly shirts and all this stuff then that is also a reflection on you obviously he's a grown man right and he has responsibility of himself but when you are married you are one you are one unit you are unified so we are called to be helpmeets as women as clear as day in the bible we are called to be helpmeets to our husbands so one of the most practical ways that we can help our husbands are through simple acts of service like doing the laundry ironing his clothes cooking dinner different things like that so in this chapter i talk about how we can serve our husbands better in practical ways okay so let's move on to the next one point number five comes from our chapter about spiritual covering and point number five is to forgive your husband for something that he did that hurt you forgive your husband for something that he did that hurt you don't be one of those wives that is holding a grudge and every single time your husband asks you for something it's like but remember when you did this or I, I'm not talking to you because you did that and it's like there's this grudge there's this underlying root of bitterness and anger and you're not able to properly serve your husband and love him because you're holding on to unforgiveness but the Bible says if we don't forgive people their sins then God can't forgive us our sins and it's really in the long run hurting you and it's hurting your marriage and if you have children this is a horrible example for your children to be watching and we're going to be talking a little bit more about that but if your husband did something that hurt you communicate it to him okay i understand there it's okay to be angry sometimes right but don't stay angry communicate those things to him talk about it work through them forgive him and you guys move on and work towards how you can improve for next time so that is my fifth tip is to forgive your husband and these tips by the way i want to mention they are in no particular order so the next tip comes from my chapter about submission okay so this next tip is to be ready to leave on time submission is coming up under the mission of another so how can you um, come up under the mission of your husband in a very practical way if your husband is on a mission to go somewhere he has a specific appointment you guys have a specific appointment a specific event meeting to go to it is a mission that you guys are working towards a way to show that you're coming up under that mission and you're submitting to it is by just being ready on time and planning in advance if your husband tells you in advance hey 
you know, we're, we have to go to this place. It's important for me that we both go to this meeting. It's on Saturday or whatever. Do what you have to do in advance. Rearrange what you need to do in advance so that you're able to be on time. If your hair needs to be done, make sure you prep whatever you need to prep on time. You prep your makeup on time. You take a shower early. Just try to schedule out your time so that you guys aren't late and you're able to come up under the mission of where your husband is leading. All right, so that is our next tip is to just be ready to leave the house on time to get to wherever you're trying to get to. Now, let's shake things up a little bit and let's just have a little fun with it. That's what I love about this next chapter. So this next chapter is called Fun in Play. So in this chapter, I just talk about ways that you can have more fun with your husband, to be more playful in your marriage, because one of the best relationships you can have is with your best friend, right? And I believe that married couples should also be best friends. And one of the things that you can do is sit with your husband while he watches one of his favorite shows. A lot of times as women, we tend to take control over the remote control. And, you know, maybe your husband doesn't want to watch Married at First Sight all the time. Maybe your husband doesn't want to watch The Bachelorette all the time. I don't know. Whatever it is that you watch, whatever your show is, Give him a chance to watch what he enjoys and don't plan something else to do or be like, okay, while you're watching this, I'm going to go cook. No, let him watch what he enjoys and sit and actually watch it with him. You know, it may not be your thing, but he's your thing. He's someone that you're interested in. So even if you're not interested in the show, because you're interested in him, give it a chance. For example, my husband, he likes sci-fi sci-fi is not my thing I don't like sci-fi but I love my husband so I'll give it a chance and I'll watch some shows and things that he's interested in because that's what he's interested in and I love him and I'm willing to learn and evolve in our marriage one of the beauties about marriage is that the other person is not the same picture carbon copy of you they bring something different and they bring something unique to the table so be willing to learn about your husband's likes and dislikes and what interests him as well all right so our next point is point number eight and it's going to come from my chapter about appreciation okay so point number eight is to deny taking phone calls when you're with your husband all right so no bestie can't speak to you right now I'm spending time with my hubby, right? Just to show him, I appreciate this moment we have together. It's precious to me. I appreciate the time that we spend together. Not just deny taking phone calls while you're with him, but to try to not be on the phone texting while your husband's talking to you or on social media scrolling. Like if you're on a date night and you guys are having quality time together, let that be quality and put the phone aside and show him I appreciate you and I appreciate this time we're spending together. So I am in the moment, I am present, and I'm fully here and paying attention. All right, so that is number eight. Let's go to point nine, which is my chapter about unity. And I've been talking about this through the video. You guys are one, you guys are a team, you guys are unified. And in, and one way to build unity is to refrain from disagreeing with your husband in front of the children. And children are slick. If they feel like mommy and daddy are not on the same page and they want something, they'll be like, okay, maybe I can't go to daddy about that, but I'll go ask mommy. Or maybe I can't go to mommy about that, so I'll go ask daddy. It shouldn't be that way. You guys should be a unified front in front of the children, in front of the world. You guys have to be one and you guys have to be on the same page. So this is another way to show respect to your husband is by especially showing him respect in front of the children. Do not disagree with him in front of the children. If you disagree with something, it's okay, but bring that to him in private and you guys can talk about it like respectful adults. All right, so let's move on to the last chapter um, where I talk about self-care. This is about you, sis. And point number 10 is to build your confidence and self-respect. If you don't love yourself, how can you love your husband? If you don't respect yourself, how can you respect a man? 
You first have to love yourself. You first have to respect yourself and build yourself up in that confidence to be able to pour that out to your husband or to anyone else in this world, to your children, whoever that may be for that matter. And I dedicated a whole chapter of this book to just you just focusing on you and building you up and self-care, taking care of yourself, self-love, because how can we love others if we first do not love ourselves? So these are the 10 chapters in the book and I give 10 tips in every single one of these chapters of how you can love and respect your husband more. And bonus, There is another chapter where I talk about 10 things that you should not ever say to your husband. And I go deeper into um, the spirit side. So what are the spiritual forces taking place in our marriage um, that is causing division, that is causing strife, and that's causing a lot of these attitudes that we see in wives that are disrespectful that are not submissive towards their husbands there is a spiritual world there is a spiritual realm it's real and it doesn't want your marriage to succeed but if you keep god first in everything you do you will be successful so i recommend you checking out the video i did there's a video i did about 10 things wives should never say to their husbands and um i i mentioned very briefly the spirits behind those different statements but in the book i dive in deeper to those spirits and how to deal with them and the open doors that cause these spirits to enter into our marriage and impact our personalities and how we act towards our husbands so if you're interested in that video then definitely watch it after this video is done but yes you guys check out my book 100 ways to love and respect your husband available for pre-order now purchase it on amazon kindle barnes and noble.com and register register for our challenge 100 day Um, Love and Respect Your Husband Challenge starting in January. It is completely free to register and participate. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe. And if it's your first time on my channel, follow me on all social media at Caroline Roberts, Instagram, Facebook, or visit my website at caroline.com just to learn more about what we're doing, Um, all the different challenges we have. We have tons of free resources, so definitely check that out. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next YouTube video. Until next time, bye.